back to my channel it's your favorite cake girl Hadeola Onike and as you can see from the title in this video I'm going to be teaching or showing you how I made my rechargeable brighter and fun and if this is something that may interest you definitely keep watching <music> get into the video proper i would like to say thank you for the love on my previous videos please do not relent keep watching my videos keep subscribing keep liking keep sharing keep dropping those beautiful comments because trust me they keep me going and if you're not subscribed to my youtube channel i do not know what you're waiting for at this point please hit the subscribe button please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos okay so now let's get straight into the business of the day so before we go into the video proper where i'll be showing you how i made the fan let me quickly talk about the materials and everything that i used so for the base of the fan i used um what's it called i used card so you can use any card you can even use a carton as in biscuits carton as in bali yes you can use the carton as a frame of your fan you can use plastic hand fan or even this local woven hand fan if i have pictures of these things i'll be saying i'll put them up here so that you can see them here or here anywhere that is okay so you can use cards you can use straw boards you can use um plastic hand fan you can use carton you can use the woven hand fan for your base anything at all can work either the rubber woven one or the um the jutes is it jutes they call it moving one i'll put a picture of share if i can find them on google so you can use any of those that's the number one thing that you need because that's the base or the frame for your fan next you need to get a rechargeable hand fan so now i got a rechargeable hand fan loan so i would advise that you get that particular brand i got make sure that it's quality because what's the essence of making rechargeable hand fan if your hand fan won't um last long after it is charged so the first hand fan i got i wanted a small hand fan the first hand fan i got i was using it before using it for the film and i realized that even though i charge it full after like a few minutes it will go off i don't want that this event is at least one hour so i won't and i'll be using it before that one hour so i need something that would last at least two three hours or even four hours or five hours you get so i did away with the former one i got and i got this loan to and fan i also put a picture up on the screen and you also still see it in the video i got it in purple because i thought i was going to make a purple and fan but i didn't make a purple and fan any longer just because i couldn't get uh, the shade of purple that i want for the feathers but trust me the gold was just it was just the perfect thing for me and i realized that the gold was just perfect for my outfit but i wanted purple 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 I'm sure that if I had gotten my purple all right, I would have still said the purple was perfect. But I mean, the gold was it was beautiful, and it's even um, something that can work on any outfit that I want to use it for. So I got mine in purple. I eventually sprayed it. So you need this gold spray. You need this gold spray for your um, for to spray your fan and other things. In my case, it was when I was done, and I now sprayed my fan. But you can spray the fan before starting the process spray the fan let it dry before starting the process but make sure that when you spray it you know you take it away from the fan so that it doesn't affect the blade of the fan but you can spray it in whatever color you want even if you got a purple purple fan and you want to use it to make a blue and fan you can spray it in blue let me show you what this spray looks like so this is the spray paint that i use however there are several kinds of spray paints in the market i got this a long while ago you, know, you just shake this and you shake it like that and you spray it comes in different colors let me show you guys what it looks like when you spray so i i have this fall paper and if you want to spray you take it slightly away and then i'm going to spray it can you can you see so you allow it to dry and then it brings out the color however this is my own gold spray is not metallic like the cover it's just normal gold that it would give you so you need to allow it to dry before you even undo this because if i touch this thing it's going to be sticky so you need 
spray paint for whatever color you are working with even if you got even if i got a gold hand fan i'll still spray because i mean it's going to blend perfectly next i got haplix haplix is those things they put on your clothes so you can get different kinds of haplix i got the haplix that i used for that center you're going to see it in the video it comes in a wrap like that and it's not very expensive i think i got that one for 500 or 1000 i can't really remember but i got that haplix and i got i got two different kinds of haplix i got one for the that i wanted to use for the handle of the fan but i didn't use it eventually so Apple comes in different widths different sizes so you get what you want and um i got it from the tailoring store at eco market lagos highland market see any tailor's shop around you definitely sell applics they sell applics they sell those feathers because these feathers are also used on clothes yes it's the same feather they use on clothes this particular feather if you watch the video you will see that it has like a line a, a fabric at the edge that's the feather there's a fabric at the edge so it's sold in tailoring stores however i got mine from the big tailoring stores in lagos island market that line that's why i got it i think i got the feather in pack for one five or one seven or one eight or two thousand i can't really remember and i got two packs two packs was just enough for what i wanted to use it to do and my fan was big so two pack is definitely okay for whatever you want to do I didn't make, I didn't go round, round everything. At a point, I wasn't going round. I was just attaching my feather to the top side. You see it in the video. I was just attaching my feather to the top side, and that's it. I wanted to use a smaller applique to wrap the handle of the fan where I'll be holding. But eventually, I saw that it was not even it. It was not um, necessary, so I left the handle like that. Is it that because it was not necessary, or I didn't have? I didn't have time again again after spraying it gold everything blended gold so there was no need for that applique again and then i got like gemstones like stones that i put on different parts of my hand fan i'm going to show you what that looks like as well in the hand fan i got like stones that i just used my glue to stick to my hand fan so that stone just you know, lifted the the hand fan it, it, it was not just the applique, so the stone was there. And I got individual applics as well. I don't know, the first one, is it bias they call it or applique? Something that is gold and shiny that I can use to, to cover that center. I sure got it. Then I also got this applique like flowers that I used for the front of my hand fan. I put it there and I put it at the back. I got a flower design for the front and I got like a butterfly design for the back. You can use whatever design you want. You can even leave it like that. Surely if you have sprayed your hand fan, your rechargeable fan, you can leave that center like that. But I still sticked the flower stuff in my own and it made it really beautiful. That's it. Then the gold stones, the stones, it was not going. The stones were like dazzling. I just put them at different points on my... Um, and fan if you watch my asho k video it's the same stone that i put on my asho k yes it was what i had that was remaining i think i bought a smaller size that was what i used if you've not watched that asho k airband video i'll link it up here or here so that you can see it as well so that's it then the last thing is i mean not the last thing the glues i used i used top bond top bond i'll put the picture here i just used that small less container and i didn't even finish it i just use it to stick my um cards together and to stick the white paper to the card so if you are using carton you may not use you may not need the top point see wrapping that my card in white paper it was just my own thing you can leave it like that you can just start attaching your your feathers on it nobody would see it people who do these things in the market they just start gluing it on their fan like that you can also use fabric instead of paper you know just i just wanted to have like a perfect base before i start attaching my feathers that's all this thing did not show it didn't show eventually you would not see what was under the hand fan you saw the hand fan now you would not see what was under the hand fan whether it was plastic or paper mm -mm. so it's not very compulsory it's just okay to do it but it's not compulsory so that's when you can need white paper then the glue also i used is gun glue i'll put the picture up here as well gun glue can be gotten from bookshops can be gotten from tailor's shops can be gotten from craft stores can be gotten from cake supply stores as well 
gun glue is like your hot glue it is usually plugged to work it works electricity and you put the candle wax inside and then it melts it that was what i used because that glue is very strong so it worked perfect don't even try to use wool glue or um or shoemaker's glue mm -mm. just use this hot glue you won't have issue like it sticks perfectly even when my fan was removing as soon as i put it it sticked it through. and it was removing because i didn't want to put too much glue but it still sticks perfectly so that's that about the materials i used yes i think that's all about the materials i used the feather itself the feather i bought two packs i think one five each or one seven each i shall bought two packs the bias or the trimmings yes not bias not applique but trimmings i put trimmings the trimmings i got two different kinds of trimmings eventually i used one one pack was just enough for the front and the back one pack was enough then trimmings um I got like stones as well that I put on the fan to add effect. You can even get peacock feather if that's what you want. Peacock feather is more expensive. I wanted to buy but it was too expensive. I think one stop was one key. And I'll be needing like four or five. I'm just like, no, 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 no. I'll sit this one out. So you can do that. Then the ant fan itself, that ant fan was about three, five or five thousand. I can't remember. But that ant fan was not cheap. It was not cheap because it was a quality one it was not cheap if you're looking for a fan of one five two k to not last you hmm. don't go through this stress and go and use low quality and fan please use a very good rechargeable and fan like i said then the spray paint and the, the pads or carton or whatever anything you want to use as your frame that's it so now i'm going to show you the process of the making of the rechargeable brighter and fan if you watch this video to the end and you enjoy the video please do not hesitate to drop a comment let me know what you learned and all that like it share it and just enjoy the video because i'm using card for my frame i drew a round shape you can use anything to just get a perfect round and as wide as you want so i drew round shape on my two cards cut it out okay, so next i'm going to take my rechargeable fan mark out the shape on my card just as you can see this is so that i can cut it out and my fan can fit in properly i'm going to mark this on both cards since i'm using two cards i'm going to mark it on both and next i cut out that round round shape that i marked for the fan and then i'm going to glue the two cards together in this video i'm using um top bond that is more like the capitals bond but you can use any glue that would work and just stick it together like so you can stick it before cutting but i preferred me cutting before sticking so that it's easy for me to cut so i just stick both of them together remember you can even use carton or any thick card at all not just trouble and then i fit my fan into the hole i have created to see that it fits well you can decide to stick your fan to the card or leave it so it is detachable then i would wrap my card with um white paper this is just regular white paper like white cardboard so that i just have a neat base when i'm attaching my feathers you can use fabric as well and you can use any color of fabric or card since feathers will cover it so i have here my um card already wrapped in paper and then it would even make the fan to sit inside i have it like that i can make it detachable and not glue my fan but in my case i eventually glued my fan because i was scared i didn't want a station where the fan may go and remove in um transit as in while dancing so i just tried to check how my feathers will be that way and then it will just go round and round and round and round and in my case i'm attaching feather to the back and the front so that it is very full and it is beautiful so here i'm gluing my fan to the um to the paper or card base i used the hot glue to attach my fan you can decide not to attach it it was very tight but i was still scared i don't want this fan to remove when i'm dancing so i just um sticked it with glue and let it sit there and then i start to attach my feathers and then finish off with the applique so the back i didn't cover fully with paper but i covered the board fully with paper so i tried to attach this um this 
um i don't know what it's called but i got it in the same market where i got the other accessories i tried to attach it to the line of the fan but i realized that this would take so much time so i said let me attach the feathers finish then i'll come back to it guys i couldn't come back to it so what i eventually did was to spray my um my fan with my gold spray so if you are making silver fan or any color of fan you can actually spray your fan i mean the rechargeable fan you can spray it even before attaching it so that it doesn't stain anything i sprayed my own when um, i was done with the and fan process done attaching all the feathers and the appliques so i just sprayed the undo and sprayed that part that was showing so that it blends well you see it at the end of this video because i didn't capture the spraying but you see it at the end of this video how i what i ended up with after spraying so you can spray in any color at all even if you don't get fan of the color of the brighter and fan you're making if your rechargeable fan is not the same color you can eventually spray with the color that you want so here i am attaching my feathers so i attached line by line like that this thing looks easy but it's it's a lot of work not a lot actually but it's a bit of work trying to make it to form that round shape and then what i did is i um did like two straight like that and then i did layers i didn't fill everything up because i eventually used fabric in the middle and i made the top part to be full leaving the down parts not to be so full as in the top parts where it to be dangling i made sure that part was full and then i just keep attaching that way just keep attaching until i was done up to this point so i have everything you can see that towards the part where my hand is i didn't have too much feathers there because i mean i don't need too much of feathers there but the top part i made it bulky with feathers then i make sure there's no feather coming to where i can you know hold the the rechargeable fan so at this point i was done attaching the feathers i used just two packs of um, feathers and it was enough despite the fact that my fan is a, a lot wider than regular so next thing i start to attach my applique this is my pack of applique i just tried to see how it would work as well this one too was a bit of work because you need to be able to bend it to form round round shape and one thing about this brighter and fan is you know this thing is crafting no matter how you put it it's going to be beautiful just arrange it neatly and you are good to go so after i Changing this applique, I added some more appliques at the center where the logo of the fan is, the name of the fan. I bought some appliques. I think one has flower and one is like butterfly. I attached to the back and the front because those two, uh, those two sides has the fan name written on it. So even after spraying, I still attached it there because it makes it look beautiful. Okay, after spraying, the name was not showing again, but. I still attached it see you see this fan trying to remove and i'm like hey god see what i glued so i had to glue it again and eventually when i added applique applique held it in place so i glued it again and i started to attach my appliques this one too was <laughs> it was it took a while so i sure attached all the appliques like that line by line front and back and then i had some i don't know if i should call them stones or gems and i just attached them at different parts on the fan and i have this beautiful fan so at this point is when i now decided to spray i sprayed the undo and spray that part that is showing purple you can also get the color to match your fan or you just spray it and then attach appliques <gasps> for watching my tutorial on how to make rechargeable brighter and fan or maybe let me just say thank you for watching me showing you how i made my rechargeable brighter and fan i hope you enjoyed this video if you did do not hesitate to like drop a comment share this video and subscribe if you have not turn on notification bell if you have not again subscribe to my youtube channel guys and please watch my other videos you see some at the end of this video scroll through my channel and see my videos please i need those views on my my channel please watch them um i have vlogs i have tutorials i have lovely videos please nice states to watch my other videos and i'll see you in the next one bye